The scientific method. What is it and why is it so important? Well, the scientific method is a method that scientists from all over the world have been using for hundreds of years to discover new things. Without this type of method or steps, a scientist could not do a proper discovery. Basically, we are now living in a time of great science discoveries. But do you know when it all started? It started from the 10th century by the Muslim scientist Hassan ibn al-Haytham. Hassan ibn al-Haytham is a lot of times called the first scientist and he came up with the idea of having certain steps to prove a discovery. These steps are known as the scientific method. After Ibn al-Haytham came up with the scientific method, we started having more accurate discoveries. Let me explain what the scientific method is. The scientific method has mainly six steps. First step is ask a question. Second step, do some research. Third step, come up with a hypothesis or educated guess. Fourth step, test your hypothesis and record your data. Fifth step, study your data or info. And lastly, the sixth step, make a conclusion. So, those are the steps to the scientific method that led to so many discoveries over time from amazing scientists from all around the world. And our Muslim brother, Ibn al-Haytham, was the first to set the foundation of the scientific method. But a lot of times, Aristotle, a Greek philosopher, is given credit for being the first to discover the scientific method. This, however, is not true. Aristotle came up with the concept of doing experiments and observing, which is called empiricism. But that's all. So Aristotle did come up with a part of the scientific method, but our Muslim brother, Ibn al-Haytham, was the actual founder of the whole final scientific method. The great Ibn al-Haytham was born in 956 in modern-day Basra, Iraq, and lived during the Abbasid Caliphate. In the Western world, Ibn al-Haytham is known as al-Hazan. Ibn al-Haytham had a lot of knowledge and wrote more than 200 books throughout his lifetime, but only 50 survive today. He came up with a lot of discoveries and changed our world forever. We also did another video on him about how he figured out how our eyes worked and his invention that led to the cameras that we have now. Go check that video out in the comments down below. Now let's all ask Allah to give Ibn al-Haytham the highest place in Jannah for coming up with the scientific method that led to so many discoveries throughout time and changed our world forever. Ameen. We hope you enjoyed this video and make sure to leave a comment of other Muslim heroes and inventors. And if you like our videos, please join us by giving a one-time donation or becoming a monthly donor to make a difference in this world. With your help, Ikra Cartoon can continue to do great works. Don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe to our channel, and share this video with all of your friends and families. And until next time, Assalamu Alaikum.